Ireland. This period of Irish history saw increasingly permanent domination by foreigners, following invasions first by the Vikings and then by the English. Ireland was inhabited mainly by Gaelic Celts, who lived in about 150 Tuath, or tribes. They frequently feuded and warred, which became a hindrance to Ireland's prosperity. Then, in 432, a man arrived who changed the course of Irish history, St. Patrick. He traveled around Ireland converting Irish chiefs to Christianity and preaching peace. By 600, Ireland had become Europe's main Christian center, and Irish monks preached all around Europe. In 795, the Vikings invaded the island, and for the next 40 years raided and destroyed monasteries. In 840, they began to settle founding towns such as Dublin, Waterford, Cork, and Limerick. From these, they traded and mixed with the Irish people, adopting many of their customs. The rest of Ireland was still traditionally Irish. By now, the five largest kingdoms were Ulster, Leinster, Munster, Connaught, and Meath. In 976, Brian Boru, king of Munster, set about invading his neighbors. By 1011, he dominated Ireland, but on his death, other local kings fought to be high king. The last strong high king was Turlo O'Connor of Connaught. After he died in 1156, two kings became rivals. One of these, Dermot McMurrow of Leinster, asked to help the Normans in England. The Coming of the English The Earl of Pembroke, or Strongbow, supported Dermot McMurrow in return for marrying his daughter and inheriting Leinster. In 1170, Strongbow and other Norman nobles invaded, seizing Irish lands for themselves. This alarmed the King of England, Henry II, who proclaimed himself the overlord of Ireland. Many Irish, fearing chaos, supported him and the Norman nobles submitted. Like the Vikings before them, many Normans soon adopted the customs of the Irish. However, in 1366, Lionel, Edward III's son and governor of Ireland, ordered Irish noble Norman families to stop speaking Gaelic and marry Irish women. This demand was not accepted, and the Irish Normans now looked upon the English as interfering foreigners. By the late 1400s, English rule existed only in the Dublin area, called the English Pale.